Hi everyone, I'm David Wojcik and this is MBOT TV. Stories we covered this week, Cannabis Comes to Mississauga, a new My Way express route enhances airport travel, BDC celebrates another successful small business week, and the surprise resignation of Peel's top cop. Welcome to MBOT TV, a weekly recap of what happened in business at the Mississauga Board of Trade and around the city of Mississauga. First up, the fifth installment in our series on corporate execution gaps. Here's Fred Pitsadney from Focus Management with our Guru Gab segment on the need for clarity when creating an execution strategy. Thanks, David. Let's focus for 59 seconds. I'm Fred. Most of you already know this. Your company sucks at strategy execution. The good news is so do 75% of your competitors. Now here's how you can use this to gain a competitive advantage. Tip number one, make your strategic plan crystal clear. Execution hates fuzziness. Mission and vision statements are fuzz attractors. Besides being boring and generic, most are filled with expressions like optimize, maximize, and customer-centric. Use more specific terms like attracting and retaining 90% of our talent, or increasing sales by five times in five years. Use fuzz-free terms to help everyone in your company get it. Tip number two. Go for the critical few instead of the lucky dozen. Goals and strategies often become long lists of things to do. You need to force yourself to choose the few things that will have the greatest impact. Make it happen. Back to you, David. Thanks, Fred. The legalization of cannabis in Canada went into effect this past week. Many feared a pot right uprising and stoners littering the streets. From our viewpoint in Mississauga, it was business as usual. Mayor Bonnie Crombie said, The city of Mississauga worked diligently with the provincial and federal government, Peel Police, and the community to ensure that our city is prepared for legalization. As we adjust to this new reality, I've encouraged residents to be responsible, respectful, and make smart decisions if they choose to use cannabis. Council will continue to work closely and consult with the business community in the coming months as we prepare to decide if we will move forward with hosting retail stores in our city. As mayor, I will work to strike the right balance between fostering a supportive business environment while protecting the health and safety of our residents, in particular, our youth. On the workplace safety side of the equation, HR professionals are moving in the direction of treating cannabis in the workplace the same as any other controlled substance like alcohol and drugs. The best advice to business owners and managers is if you suspect an employee is impaired for any reason and is a danger to themselves or co-workers, move them to a safe place and provide appropriate care. Meanwhile, the federal government is considering pardons for individuals who have been convicted for simple possession of cannabis. The Prime Minister confirmed his gov government will look into pardons once the legalization of cannabis has had a chance to settle. My way, buses serve more than 80 routes in Mississauga, but there was one missing, an express route into the airport. Your Mississauga Board of Trade, in collaboration with Commissioner Jeff Wright and Mississauga Transit, worked with Pearson Airport to make Route 100 a reality. This was really the genesis of taking advantage of our new transitway. And so when the transitway was developed, we had always envisioned having uh, a service that was dedicated to the transitway itself, but also servicing into a high demand areas like the airport. Uh, so, you know, in, in consultations with a lot of our stakeholders, like Mississauga Board of Trade, uh, we're listening to our customers, we felt that there was sufficient demand uh, to introduce a new route like this. Putting on a bus route takes a considerable amount of planning. 
as Commissioner Wright describes. So there's a number of factors that go into specific route design in terms of you know, the length of the route, uh, in terms of how long the, uh, the, uh, the, the time of the, the route takes to run a, a service around it, uh, how many buses you'll have to put on the route to provide a certain frequency, our labor costs. You know, we have over a thousand bus drivers and mechanics that, you know, keep the service running every day, uh, and diesel. Express buses come with a few practical features to make the ride more pleasant for commuters. You also uh, see uh, different types of seats, the seating configuration. We want to maximize the seating configuration, whereas in some of our uh, more local buses where we have uh, more people standing, we want to sort of maximize uh, people carrying capacity. So we look for the different seating configurations. We also look for some improved customer uh, comfort features like uh, reading lights over the seats that, that you don't have in our, in our regular uh, My Local service, as well as uh, charging stations for mobile devices. A major player in providing critical information for the planning of the route was Pearson Airport, and they are thrilled to see this route come online. This My Way 100 Airport Express service is incredibly exciting for us at the airport. The role that Toronto Pearson is playing in connecting people to the surrounding regions uh, it really is growing. And this express service is especially important. Uh, it was a gap in our service at the airport. And thank you to Mississauga Board of Trade and kudos to the city and to My Way for filling that gap. Uh, about 13, over 13,000 of the employees that work at the airport reside in Mississauga. Um, so, you know, an express service is really going to be benefiting them. From the country's largest airport, an express service is going to greatly help the companies in Mississauga to attract talent. It's going to help them to make their businesses more competitive. The route is scheduled to come online October 29th and will originate at the Winston Churchill BRT station with express service to Terminal 1 and 3. The new president and vice chancellor of Sheridan College was installed last week. Janet Morrison, who was formerly the vice president academic, took to the stage and adorned the robes of office. Ms. Morrison gave a passionate speech as she committed herself to students and the communities that Sheridan College serves. MHI Canada, the Canadian arm of Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, announced their manufacturing expansion. MHI, which has three locations in Mississauga, has been looking for an appropriate facility for the last number of years. The property adjacent to their facility on Northwest Drive became available, and MHI President and CEO Mike McCarthy was quick to move on the opportunity, saying MHICA is proud to help lead the growth and strength of the aerospace industry in Mississauga. BDC celebrated another successful Small Business Week in Mississauga. Newly appointed Vice President Marianne Wensler-Weeb was on hand at Mississauga Board of Trade's event to outline BDC's range of services and commitment to small business. BDC created Small Business Week in 1979 when the organization was known as the Federal Business Development Bank. Mississauga celebrates Italian style and news on the retirement of Peel Top's, Peel's Top Cop is coming up. First, are you looking for ways to save money on your employee benefits? The Chamber Plan can help. The Chamber's Plan now offers employee benefit programs with greater selection, higher coverage levels, and more value than ever before. Take another look and see why we're the choice of more small businesses than any other plan in Canada. The Chamber's Plan. It's for your benefit. The beautiful people of Mississauga packed Square One Shopping Centre as they rolled out the red carpet and celebrated Italian style with La Vida Dolce. Square One General Manager Greg Taylor is the inspiration behind the event, which supports our local Trillium Hospitals. Peel's top cop Jennifer Evans announced her retirement during the ceremonial opening of the new Peel Police Headquarters in North Mississauga. The chief stunned the audience with the announcement which will take effect on January 11, 2019. Mayor Crombie said, I extend my best wishes to the chief as she embarks on this next chapter in her life. She has worked tirelessly for over 35 years to keep Mississauga safe and make Peel Police one of the leading forces in Canada. I have appreciated her candor, counsel, and her unwavering commitment to her job, her officers, and our community. As a trailblazing female police chief, she leaves behind a strong legacy and will undoubtedly have big shoes to fill. 
There is no heir apparent to the top job, and your Mississauga Board of Trade looks forward to our continued work with the new chief. MBOT hosts more than 100 events per year. Here's what's coming up at your Mississauga Board of Trade. On November 7th, Membership Matters is at MBOT, a session for new members to discover all the great benefits that your Mississauga Board of Trade has to offer. Seasoned members are always welcome to stop by for a refresher. On November 8th, our professional development series wraps with the year-end checklist, everything you need to know to close the year with a strong finish and set up for an explosive start to 2019. On November 12th, Federal Minister of Transport, Mark Garneau, visits MBOT. Join us for Minister Garneau's perspective on governing for the middle class. On November 14th, Good Morning Mississauga is at The View a beautiful venue overlooking the Royal Woodbine Golf Club. Come out and connect with your Membot colleagues. Book a speaker spot. Where else can you make over 100 cold calls in just two minutes? And book your tickets now for the annual Extravaganza Awards of Excellence on November 15th, sponsored by MNP and Closing the Gap Healthcare Group. This event has sold out for the past two years, so reserve your tickets and tables today. Contact your membership services manager or go to www.mbot.com on November 22nd. Join the CEO Executive Series with Frank Gernschner, the founder of Trias College. Find out how he built a multi-million dollar business starting in his basement. Details about these stories and events are available at www.mbot.com. Until next week, this is David Vorchik wishing you continued success in your business.